Whittier, one of the best hitters that UMass has. Batting over 360. He's got 10 RBIs, the 2-0. Lined into right center field. That ball is down and going up towards the wall. One run scores, whambling rounding third. They're gonna send her and pulling into second with a two RBI double is Chloe Whittier. She continues her monster day and monster season and UMass leads 3-0. Billikens down to their final strike. Here's De Pasquale's 1-2. Lined up the middle, it's a base hit into center field. Rounding third is Sullivan, she will score, and we are tied. Abby Mallow delivers again, and St. Louis has come all the way back from being down 3-0, and we are even at three. UMass fans probably want one in the gaps. That ball's last, what a catch over at third by Nova Sinskel, and that will retire the side. She takes away an extra base hit, and keeps Loyola Chicago in the game. What a play by Sinsko. And at the end of two innings, UMass leads Loyola 3-0 here on ESPN. A lot of opportunity for a lot of teams. The bunts in the air. Oh, what a play! Nova Sinsko with a diving catch to retire Wambling on the bunt. Sinsko continuing to show off the leather. Here's the 3-1, hammer down the line. What a play over at third. The throw to first, got her again. Nova Sinsko <laughs> putting on a world-class performance at third base. Makes another great play for the first out of the six. Here's the 1-0, hammered. Sinsko again, can she do it? Yes, she can, my word. What a game at third base for Nova Sinsko. She makes yet another highlight real play. And that keeps them fresh throughout the long season as that one's grounded. Pantoja looks to home. Here comes the runner, the play at the plate. They got her. UMass turns the unconventional double play. 6-3-2 to retire the side. The Bonnies get two hits, but don't score. Halfway through the first inning, UMass coming to bat for the first time right after this on ESP. The St. Bonaventure clinging on to a one-run lead. Phelan's 2-2. Grounded up the middle, base hit. Graham hits third, she's gonna try to score. Here comes the throw towards home. Not in time, going to third is Packard and on at first with a game tying RBI single is Sarah Keggy. This game is even at three. Peculiar base running. Whalen drops down a bunt it's towards the mound going to first the throw is wide. Packard ahead towards third. It's kicked out there and right. Here comes Packard rounding third. She will score. Whalen heading to third. They're going to throw off the stop sign. And UMass gets the carousel going. Some poor Bonnie defense leads to another UMass run. If I were Bella Bontoja, the UMass shortstop, I'd be ready because all three plate appearances, she's grounded out to her. Abril, who wears number 24. Swings at a 1-0 right to Bontoja. She's got it, bobbled it, throw to first, and the ball game is over. The UMass Minute Women score four in the bottom of the sixth to get the comeback victory over St. Bonaventure. Jenna Bradley, two excellent relief innings for the Minute Women. She will pick up the victory. And Josh, the UMass Bats came alive late, took advantage of some poor defense en route to the victory.